Uh, hello guys, welcome back to another video, Gregorius Maths. Today we'll be doing two ways of evaluating a simple integral. One with the usual techniques, u sub, and then a more creative way, uh, which I thought of uh, using complex analysis. Let's get right into the u sub method. So, if we let u equal to ln x, this leaves us with let u equal ln x. Right, to, to isolate the x, we have to do e to the power of both sides. e to the u equals x. Differentiating both sides, e to the u du equals dx. Plugging that in, integral of e to the u uh, times cosine of ln x is just u du. Now we have to do an integration by parts. Uh, and we use the di method. Uh, so di plus minus plus. We'll differentiate e to the u. And we'll integrate cosine u. The integral of cosine is positive sine. And the integral of sine is negative cosine. But despite the signs, like the rows, the rows are repeated. Uh, despite the signs, but it's the sign doesn't really matter. We're, the main thing is that the row has repeated, so we can stop there. And this is part of our answer. This is part of our answer. So let's do that. E to the u times sine u, which, which equals e to the u sine u. Negative times negative is positive. E to the u times cosine u. And then the product of a row is an integral. But positive times negative is negative. And then the integral of e to the u cosine u du. Right? Okay. But that we've got that on this side as well. So... What we can do is add e to the u this integral on both sides, which means that that and that cancel, leaving us with. Uh, wait, hold on. Two times e to the u cosine u du being equal to this e to the u sine u. Uh, sine of u plus e to the u cosine u. Now we're nearly done. Multiply both sides by half. We get, well, the half and the two will cancel. e to the u cosine u du being to half times e to the u sine u plus e to the u cosine u okay and now the last step is we plug in our x at the end and then we'll be done so what's e to the u e to the u is just x so half x times sine of well u is ln x sine ln x plus e to the u is x times cosine ln x and then have I put in all of no one more bracket and then because it's an indefinite integral plus c this is the answer uh, but to check and just as a little exercise we'll differentiate it to check our answer and if we differentiate this and we end up with this, we've got the right answer. So let's do this in blue. D dx. One half times x times sine ln x plus x times cosine of ln x. And then plus c. Well, the derivative of a constant is zero, 
So we just have to focus on the inside bit. The half can stay the same for now. This equals. We have to use the product rule twice because there's two products here. So the product rule is the first function. Uh, sorry, hold on. Half times all of this times the first function times the derivative of the second. Well, the derivative of sine is positive cosine, and the input stays the same. But the but the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, and the derivative of ln x is one over x. But we've got an x here, so one over x times x is just one. So cosine ln x. Yep, and then because the x and the derivative of the inside will cancel, and then plus the second function, which is sine ln x, and then times the derivative of the first, but the derivative of x is just 1, so we can say so multiplying by 1 doesn't do anything. And then plus the first function times the derivative of the second, the derivative of cosine is negative sine and the input stays the same times the derivative of the inside but the derivative of ln x is 1 over x 1 over x times x leaves us with 1 so actually this leaves us with plus minus sine uh, I hope, so plus adding a negative is just subtracting so this actually becomes minus sine ln x and then plus the second function which is cosine ln x and then times the derivative of the first but that's just one and plus c well the derivative of a constant is zero so now we need to just um all we need to do is oh sorry i forgot brackets all we need to do is simplify so plus sine minus sine those two just cancel and then we've got cosine plus cosine this just equals one half times two cosine ln x because multiplication is just repeated addition that's um yeah okay so that's just cosine plus cosine that's two cosine but then that and that will cancel, the two and the half will cancel, leaving us with the original cosine of ln x. So, the answer, which I've put in a box, is correct. Now, we will move on to the complex analysis way of doing it, which I thought was a very clever way of doing it. It's you just have to utilise Euler's formula, uh, and we'll see it in a second. Uh, yeah, especially now that we've got an ln, the e's and the ln's will cancel, and everything will be nice. Okay. So, what is Euler's formula? Well, it is that e to the i x equals cosine x plus i sine x and using this we can say that e to the negative i x equals cosine well cosine of negative x and cosine of x are the same because cosine is an even function so cosine of x and sine of negative x equals negative sine positive x so we can use this to say to bring the negative to the outside minus i sine of x and that's because sine is a uh, an odd function so we can do this now to isolate the cosine which is what we want we add the two functions to, i mean the two um expressions uh, the two equations together to get rid of those two e to the i x plus e to the negative i x equals two cosine x and then just dividing both sides by 2 leaves us with that. 
So now we'll plug in for our cosine of x. So this equals the integral of e to the i ln x plus e to the negative i ln x over 2 dx. This equals, well, e to the power of ln x is just x to the power of i because this is the same as saying e to the ln x and then to the power of i because we can multiply the powers and e to the ln x that will just cancel leaving us with the x to the power of i and using the same logic e to the negative i ln x is just x to the negative i all over 2 uh, the integral dx and now this means that 2i equals the integral of x to the power of i plus x to the negative i dx. And because i is just a constant in the x world, we can just use the power rule, which says this equals, well, we have to add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power. So, or multiply by the reciprocal of the new power, which is 1 over 1 plus i times x to the i plus 1 and then plus well negative i plus 1 equals 1 minus i so I'll just write it out like that 1 over 1 minus i times x to the negative x to the 1 minus i and then, well, that's 2i. So dividing both sides by 2 uh, leaves us with i equals that over 2. And uh, because, this isn't, uh, because this is an indefinite integral, we have to add c. Um, but let's differentiate this to check that we're right, uh, which would be cool if we were. So d dx of 1 over i plus 1 times x to the i plus 1. Oh, whoops. I forgot the half. We'll, we'll, we'll say that this is the same as multiplying by half times 1 over 1 plus i times x to the i plus 1. Close, close, and then that plus one over i. I mean one minus i times plus this times x to the one minus i. Uh, there's one bracket, two bracket. How many brackets do I need? There's I don't, um, I've put in one too many brackets, no I haven't, yes I have, I have put one too many brackets, uh, so, plus that, and then this, one, one more bracket, okay, uh, so just that, that, there's even more, so the differentiating, uh, that and that. Yeah, okay. That's that's enough brackets. Um okay, and then quickly differentiating this. The power rule says that we take away one and then multiply by the uh power. So i plus one times one over i plus one is just one. So this equals one over two times well that and that cancel x to the i and then plus, the same thing applies here, but we take away 1, x to the negative i, and then we're done, because that's the same as that. Uh, and that's the same as that. Yeah, that's the same as that, so we're done. So this bit is right. Uh, this has been Gregorius Maths, thanks for watching, bye.